Tajikistan, in the heart of Central Asia, the poorest former Soviet Republic and also one of the youngest, with 70% of the population under 30. Now, a simple truth is beginning to make a difference. When given the confidence and the chance to voice their concerns, young Tajiks are stepping forward, eager to help their nascent republic succeed. In a few days, 27-year-old Farhad Jaborov, 20-year-old Parviz Kafisoda, and 19-year-old Mubarak Rustamazoda, along with 63 other youth leaders, for the first time, will publicly debate issues that matter to them. All with the hope that the government, unpracticed in free speech, is ready to listen. It's a fragile opportunity for this developing democracy. Mubarak lives in Kolob City, in Kaltan province, which shares a porous border with Afghanistan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Take a seat. She is studying to become an English teacher at Kulab State University. Okay. Who's ready just now? If someone's ready, please hands up. Mubarak? من یک تیزی بهترین رو میخواستم که همه در صحای معارف باشد برای پیش روی آن همه میخواستم که سیستم معارف دیگرگون شود For example, she is happy today She is It is simple sentence Today Independence for this country came with sacrifices One was the loss of Soviet funding of state institutions which devastated the quality of education especially in the rural areas where 85% of the population live. Unhappy. When the Soviet Union fell, a rise in Islamic fundamentalism led to a five-year civil war that ended in 1997. The secular government, which emerged, is still uneasy about the potential of Islamic radicalism. So some draconian-like measures were put in place, such as no religious schools for boys, no attending mosques or beards under the age of 18, and for girls, no hijabs in school. Mubarak feels these restrictions prohibit many girls from continuing their education. ولی آنها از جهت اقتصادی و تشان پس بودند، آنها تحصیلات خود را دوام نمیدیند، اینچنین منتالیتیت شرقی آنها داشتند. وقتی که دخترانش شاید سنفی نو میگیرند از مکتب، آنها رو به شوهر میدیند، آنها به زندگی مستقلانه تیار نیست. دخترانی هستند که به خودکشی در زدگی بودند. شما فهمیدین که لیدر که بدستاید؟ همه دونین که که لیدر شده، که روح بر شده میتواند؟ میدونین برای چی؟ یکون کس معلوم دارند؟ Mubarak was trained in social outreach and women's rights as part of the youth of the 21st century's National Debate Center program. She now passes on what she's learned to other girls hoping to inspire them to pursue their education and seek a bigger role in their country's future. I want to be a leader in the future. I also want to be a leader in the future of Tajikistan. I also want to be a leader in the future. In the capital, Dushanbe, a lack of resources combined with government corruption has resulted in an acute housing shortage, sending real estate prices skyrocketing and making living in the city unaffordable for young Tajiks. Young 
Farhad teaches international law at Tajik State University in Dushanbe and is a member of the newly formed Agrarian Party Youth Group. He sees himself as a potential political leader. Farhad, his wife and newborn son, have escaped the high price of Dushanbe apartments by living outside the city, in Sharur village, with his mother and his brother's family. Harus Charmandoni Jumri Tojikston ba Federatsiya Rasiya baroy kor kardan meravand baroy chi baroy onki sharoiti zindagi khudro behtar namudan mekhoham va vobasta ba problem asosiye ki dar oile mo hozir ast hamin ast ki padaram akumo bachoy kalon shudem moya khonondan lozim bud Farhad's brother faced with no job left to join their father in Russia who has been working there for 15 years بعد که نمزیق شدی گفتم که این خیر نگاه دکتر جان آفرین من گفت که من همین یک عمر به شوهر شوهرم بیان خیلی صد بار شکر رو شش ماه پس می بیان یک سال پس شش ماه پس اومده می استنو In the last 20 years the rate of men migrating to Russia has risen and so has the divorce rate leaving many women on their own to raise their children ما می خواهم که خیر وطنی خودم می سو فابریکو زوادا کردم دو همین به جوانو It's been reported that 800,000 Tajik men migrate to Russia every year. With few natural resources and little industrial development, almost half of Tajikistan's GDP comes from remittances sent home by migrant workers, which many families depend on. Most are laborers, but the educated are leaving too, in search of better career opportunities in China, Europe, and the US.